Hi, Chris here for Take and Take and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to speak about the best calculator I find for Windows 10 and on top of it, it's free. So let's get started now by showing you how to add this shortcut here, which when you click it, either with a mouse or let me close it with the shortcut window, then it launched the app for you. So you can resize if you want to, like so. Be aware that if you put it too wide, then this becomes shorter, but you can see either the history or the memory here. For me, I like this view here better, right? I bring it down a little bit. You will see why later on. So this is the standard calculator that we find. I close this. So now I will show you how I managed to create this shortcut here. Right click here and unpin. Now on my keyboard, I press the window key type C-A-L, I'm here, I will highlight the calculator app, right click here and pin to the taskbar. You can see it is over here, alright, as I shown in my previous video, if you have more than 10 icons, then you cannot launch with the shortcut by the keyboard, so you can move it here, anyway, I like the way it is here and it leads, you know, into the color, into the taskbar. This is me, anyway, you do whatever you want. Make sure that it is within the 10 icon in the taskbar. Then you press the window key and one on your keyboard and you launch the app, which once it's here, you can see, you can even launch a second one if you want to by simply pressing window key shift and one. And you have a second one, as you can see here. I have to calculate that. Can you move it away? Yes, you can. There it is. And if for any reason you need to keep it on top, just go there. The reason why I show you this is, you can see there is a sign here. When I click on it, you will look here. It will resume its position. There it is. Basically, it's this sign here. So let's say you, make, you made a calculation here and you need an, another one, but you don't want to commit the calculation to memory. You can pin it if you want to. And if you pin this one as well, but you cannot move them. They will be stacked upon each other's, all right? So the best way, is to leave one open and do your calculation after. Close this one, we don't need it. Now we will focus solely on the application here. Let's say I do zero divided by zero and you can see the result is indefined. This basically you cannot divide by zero. <laughs> if I do one divided by one, then it gives me one. One thing, as you can see, I'm using the mouse, but you can do it with the keyboard. Let's say I do one with the keyboard divided by three, press enter. This is what it gives me. Now, if you notice here on the edge, it follows where you put the mouse. It's quite a neat uh, effect, but it doesn't help in anything at all, except you can see when you point your mouse, the highlighted symbol and numbers. Now, what I'm going to show you is once I'm here on the corner, I put in the history, you can see all that I calculated. And if I press enter, it calculates some more, all right? If I let my finger on the enter, it calculates some more. Once you have everything here, you can highlight one, doesn't matter which number I have, if I double click on any one, right click, I can either copy the one, either by the shortcut or pressing the copy here, or select all the one you have double click on, not the whole thing. So what I can do if I have too many, I can clear here and to clear this one, well, it's a calculator, so now put it back here. I like this one better. You can see the three horizontal lines here. And uh, when I hover on it, it says open navigation. And this basically is the menu within window. You have shortcuts for all of those. Or if you want, you can right click here and you have a list which is not that long. Okay. And that's the one I use to unpin. But now it's open. You can close it as well if you want to. So, to recap, you have, for your convenience, I put the link down below. It's from the Microsoft website and all the shortcuts are there. The standard one, we know. The scientific, we know as well. What's new now, it's the programmer. As you can see, you can select and things are changing. And you have even 
more over here. This one I won't go into it, no, a few people will use it. Now what we have interesting is the date calculation, right? So here you can difference between the dates, but you can also add or subtract the day. And that's very, very good. Let's say I want minus eight months and uh, don't know, let's say eight days. Uh, this is where we will be in eight months and eight days. If I want to subtract, this is where we were eight months ago. Uh, it's as simple as that. So difference in between dates, it's there. They give you, I have three days in between the 13th and the 16th September, if you don't know how. Of course, it's a, if you do like so, it's much better. Two months and six, six days or 67 days. Now we have what's most important to most of us will be the conversion one, which it's new. And as you can see, I have the currency here. So you can do different currencies if you want to. I won't go through uh, here. We are here in ringgit for me. And if you want Euro or US, it's up to you. You know how to do. And this is the rate. Now I can update the rate on the flyer. You can see, let's say I say five ringgit, it's equal to 1.2 euros, for example. Huh? You want it in pounds? No problem. If I press the arrow here and type U, then you can select either the US dollar or the sterling. And there, there I am with a pound. So if I press update, I will see if there is any changes, which I doubt so. Now, what we have as well, it's the volume, the length, weight and mass. Temperatures, energies, areas, speeds, time, power, data. Power, it's interesting, isn't it? There it is. Data's this. You can see. I didn't even know there was Yubi Bytes, <laughs> but <laughs> let's have a one Yubi Byte. It's a girl. At, ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, it's equal to all of those as well here. Uh, and one newbie byte is equal to that many. I do not know how to read this number, I'm sorry. <laughs> not in English anyway. But uh, you can see it's a lot of DVDs. Uh. So petabyte, it's much more something that we may be able to encounter. <laughs> All right, um, the pressure, which is not too bad if you have to, and the angles, All right? The radiant, the gradient, and the grease. The last one that I want to go through is the graphic one, All right? So for the graphic, if I put FX and I put Y equal X minus 1.5 for example, I press enter Okay, and I go to the graph. This is what we have. So it's not bad at all. Now what we have here also it's it tells you all about the version of the application If you want to send a feedback all the other items as you can see highlighted here and of course the normal licenses You can do your YouTube things now like if you want to subscribe you can as well and also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time i post a new video however if you do not like this video simply leave a comment down below and tell me what you do not like it about so thank you very much stay safe guy and bye now